Hi guys, today we're looking at a new Pulsar W495 plugin. It's a three band EQ that's an accurate emulation of the original Neumann W495. I know what you're thinking, it's a three band EQ, why would I need another one? Well let's have a look at the context. Well for one, it's Neumann. They're associated with quality. And just full disclosure, I have the Neumann KH120A monitors, you see, and the TLM103 microphone that we're recording on. I love Neumann. The original was used to master around 95% of records between the 1970s and 1990s, the golden age of vinyl. And there's good reason for that. Number one, it's wide equalization curves are very, very musical. You can also get really ridiculous results with them. Plus, it was designed to speed up the process. Speed up the process means more sales, more profits, and hey, what do you know? Major labels know how to make money. But it also stood the test of time because it is easy to use and it sounds brilliant. Although it was originally designed to be a mastering plugin, with the additional features that Pulsar have added, it can be used in other ways too. In this video, we'll run through a couple of mastering scenarios and use it in another couple of instances as well. So the first thing we suggest you try is to use it like the original. Now Pulsar has designed it to have lots of modern features, but you can also use it like the hardware version, i.e. what you see on screen now. You had the three EQ bands, but you also have some of the interesting features that came with the hardware version. They are the step gains, step bandwidths, and step frequencies. So what is the step gains? I'll show you. We'll turn it on to stepped, and then you can only turn up the gain every two decibels. You can't go in between, which is a feature from the hardware version. And it's the same with the bandwidths, and it's the same with the frequencies. So if you want to recreate that hardware sound, here you go, that's all you need to do. And there's not much to it, there's not many features. It's designed to be led by your ear rather than your visualization. And because it can take extreme settings really well and maintain transparency whilst attenuating your frequencies, you can really push it. So we're gonna just set this track and we're gonna see how it sounds on this master. So you can see we've dialed in some pretty extreme settings. We haven't overcomplicated it. We haven't overthought it, but it sounds pretty transparent, pretty neat. And if you bypass it again, the track sounds better for it. The second thing we'd use the 495 for is stereo expansion. So to have a listen to the four bars of this song, then we're going to turn it on and we're going to expand the signal using the modern feature of the mid-side switch. So let's turn on the mid-side switch to side, because that's the areas we want to focus on. And let's dial in some pretty extreme settings. So we're going to take it up to that's nine decibels. We might turn off step for these as well. We'll do it on all the parameters. So now you see you can have a more smooth usage. Let's have a really wide bell there. Sounding good there. This track was mixed quite hot, so we turned down the gain there. So if I was to take you back, let's do without. And then we'll put it back on. Smooth, it's 
wide, it's transparent, and these are some quite extreme settings for a master channel. The next thing to check out on the W495 is the preset, because it's not just for mastering, you can also use it on the individual channels or groups. So here's a track, and we just got the drum bus playing here for the time being. And you've only got once one preset for the drum bus. I mean, how many presets can you have when it's a three band EQ? But the beauty of that is that you can just mess around with it. We've got it turned on. Let's see how far we can push this. Turn on the auto gain. Now let's hear it in context. Turn it off. Back on. And using this visualizer, you've got the two options for the fast and the slow. And you can get really even more accurate with the infinite spectrum. It toggles on or off, and the infinite spectrum will show you a cumulative view of your global spectral balance. It's not particularly reactive, but it's very accurate. So let's just go back, let's toggle it on. Yeah, you can see it here in the background. So if we really want to work with this frequency, you can see it there. Turn it off. And you'd be pleased to know it really doesn't ha hammer your CPU as well. The presets come armed with bass, drum bus, guitar, hi-hat, keyboards, kick. None of the categories have too many. In keeping with talking about the presets, let's have a look at the mastering presets. We're gonna keep on the same track. And let's run through some of the mastering presets. Clarity, I soften. And you can tour. And you can see how they all have different settings on the mid side switch. Smooth air boost, you could maybe do more by changing that to S. And as you can see, some of these settings are pretty extreme, but never does the track sound worse for it. It sounds like everything is being accounted for, it's transparent and it's super musical, and it's just adding that extra bit of polish to your mastering EQ. So the last thing to consider when using the 495 is you might be able to use multiple. The low CPU means that you can use many instances of it on one channel, certainly something you couldn't do with the hardware version. So for example, on the first one, you might want to work on just the mid signal like this. If we change each plugin band to the mid, then we can get all of these really sounding good right down the middle of the signal. get some wide equalization curves. That's what it's well known for. Bring down the auto gain slightly. Okay, so the middle of the signal is now being treated with some pretty extreme EQ. So now it's off. Turn it back on. 
But let's duplicate it. And then let's open this one. Let's make sure we've got the right one open. Okay, let's flatline this one. And then let's just work on the, the, the side signal. Don't want to do too much here. Let's also make that wide. Okay, I turn them both off. Turn the first one on. The second one. And you can see only 5% on the CPU. So you're encouraged to use more than just one instance because it's designed for that. So go ahead and load up as many as you want. Hope you enjoyed learning about the W495. It's free until October. There's a link below in the description. And if there's any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification button. And we'll catch you next time.